We are entering the new year. We are entering the year 2020. It's a new year and a new beginning. A year for healing, progression and development. This could be the year that you recover from narcissistic abuse. You might be spending time with family or friends on this New Year's Eve. Or if you have got no contact with toxic family members or friends, the ex-narcissist, you might be spending New Year's Eve alone. And that's okay. It doesn't mean that you have to be sad. It doesn't mean that you have to self-loathe. I have spent New Year's Eve on my own. Take the time to yourself. Reflect on your own thoughts and feelings without distractions. Think about how you want this year to go. You might want to continue being no contact with the toxic people in your life. You might want to practice more healing techniques. You might want to meet healthier people. People who are more understanding or supportive. Take this time to reflect on how you are currently feeling and what you want to manifest in 2020. Avoid thinking about the narcissist. They might be celebrating the new year without you. They might upload pictures on social media to make you jealous. To make you feel as though you are missing out. But you're not missing out on anything. They're just out at some club or bar getting drunk. Trying to escape from their current reality. Trying to fool themselves and other people into believing that they are actually happy. Which is why I would like to recommend to you to avoid drinking alcohol this evening. You might do something that you will regret. You might text something to the narcissist. Being drunk is not a good way to start the new year. It's also not good if you are trying to heal. You have to be grounded in reality if you want to heal. Alcohol is something that people use to escape from reality. I haven't drunk alcohol for around two years and it has made a big difference in my life. I don't know if I could have built this channel if I was still drinking alcohol. Even if it was just once a week, it's not good. There are so many side effects and it damages your brain, which has already been damaged from the abuse. So I definitely recommend avoiding alcohol, even though it is New Year's Eve. You don't need alcohol to be happy or have a good time. And even when you're drunk, and you think you're happy. It isn't real. You're just so detached from reality that you don't even know what's going on. So I would recommend avoiding alcohol. Then you can wake up with a clear head tomorrow and start the year off right. Everyone else might be out partying in the bars and clubs, drinking tons of alcohol. But just because they're doing that, it doesn't mean that's what we have to do. We are more awakened now to narcissism and the hidden agendas of this world. We understand that there is a certain level of control to keep people in a lower frequency to prevent them from discovering who they really are, to distract them 
from the true reality. I'm going to be avoiding bars and clubs this evening, just as I did last New Year's Eve. I'm also going to be avoiding alcohol. Earlier today, I was hiking in Snowdonia, North Wales, and tomorrow I will be waking up early so that I can continue my hike. This is what life is really about. Not being stuck in some bar or club, getting drunk and trying to distract yourself from reality. It's about going out and exploring the world, being in nature, being around the animals and the trees. This is the natural way of how life is supposed to be. So many of us become anxious and depressed because we have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten about what life is supposed to be about. Start this year by returning to nature and remembering what life really is. It is very healing to be away from the busy cities that are full of distractions. When you are in nature, you can finally think clearly. So just because everyone else is out at the bars and clubs getting drunk, that doesn't mean that's what you have to do. And just because I'm going to be out in nature, you don't have to do that either. Do what feels right to you. Do what you want to do. Rather than doing what everyone else wants you to do, or what you think you're supposed to do. Do what feels right, and enjoy the new year. Happy New Year. I wish you peace and love, and I will talk to you soon.